Hello, um, super quick unboxing because I've um, got a lot of things on. Uh, so this is for the um, Scythe Ninja 5 CPU cooler. Comes in quite a nice big box, so I'll quick rotate it around so you can sort of freeze and take a look at what the box looks like. Um, and there's some tech details, so I'll just pause on that bit there for a bit so that you can get, uh, so you can freeze it and take a good look if you want to. Nothing on the bottom. Uh, and then we're back to the front, so let's get it opened up. Little box of bits, look we'll at that in a minute. So here's the actual cooler. We've got a couple of bits here that we'll take out. That's one of the fans. And then there's another one here which we'll lift out. That's a nice sort of grey, what's it, greeny grey is that? Not as green, might just be me there. And there's the actual cooler itself, which I will very gently just tip out. Hopefully it's not going to fall over. And that's the box empty, so we'll chuck that down there. And quite a lot of stuff going on. So a very nice bit of packaging there. There's the bottom of the cooler with its little protective thing. There's the actual cooler itself, so it's got a black top. And then you've got the aluminium fins. There's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 heat pipes in it. So that's pretty funky, so I'm just going to stand that there out of the way. I'll move that from the star and put it back in the box. Then we'll see what's in the box of bits now. latches on it. Ooh, nice little screwdriver. There's the fan splitter, because obviously that will go into the motherboard header. And then uh, one for each fan. So there's two fans on it. There's an instruction book. Well, not really a book, is it? It's a leaflet. Looks fairly straightforward. So it supports um, just about every Intel and just about every AMD one. So some of the bits you'll use, some of the bits you won't. So although this bag of bits here looks a bit intimidating, it isn't because you're not going to use all the bits. Get that out of the way. Comes with some paste. What is it? It's um, Scythe branded thermal grease. Not a colossal amount, but obviously enough to get started with it. They're thinking this is the kind of heat sink you put on and then never take off because it lasts forever. And these sort of things adjust. And then there's separate, there's the clips for the fans. And then there's mounting thing. There's a little 3M sticker. I'm not sure what they're going to use that for. But it's, let's see what it's got on there. Does it say what that little thing's for? Let's see if it says. Now, this is where you can tell whether the manual's any good he identifies things. They call it a rubber spacer for socket 775. So, now we know. That is, I, like, I like manuals like that, where you've got a question and it's like, pff, answered. I do like that. And there's various fittings and um, yeah, so you get everything you need, including the screwdriver, which is rather sweet. Um, if you've got any questions, um, then stick them in the comments. Uh, liking and subscribing is appreciated. Um, this is going into a customer's machine, so I might um, put a photograph of that on at the end of the video, maybe a flyby or something so you can see it in action. Um, but anyway, uh, in the meantime, um, thanks for watching. So I'm just fitting it, and I thought I'd, I'd, I want to mention this actually, this is kind of good, because you've got the, the back plate obviously fits through, and it pokes out these the little rods. Okay, and this is a socket 1151 and um, the rods were in the right place, so it just sort of went straight through without any adjustment. But I'd like to point out these little things here, which are little, those little rubber things, and they fit onto there, and you just push them on. So you don't need to screw them in, and that holds it on at the back. Uh, that's brilliant. 
because a lot of the other ones you you push it through and you have to screw the sort of stanchions in and then they start rattling but that's that's brilliant because now i can put the thing on without having to worry about supporting the back so yeah quite impressed by that anyway better get on with it yeah so um as promised here's the follow-up uh, very quickly that's it installed you can see it's pretty big not as tall as say for example a dark rock pro 4 or something like that but it's um quite a substantial cooler got quite good ram clearance um but yeah it went on really easily actually um not at all fiddly in any way so overall yeah pretty good so um yeah any questions stick them in the comments uh liking and subscribing as ever is appreciated and uh thanks for watching